Nowadays I wake up, get ready, drop off Lena, drive to work, do my work, make some content on Fridays, drive home, hang with friends, do chores, chill with the wife, and go to sleep. Simple rhythms call for simple tools, so this is what I carry with me every day. Stick around to the end of this video for an underwhelming EDC, and also all the links to all these products are down in the description below. First things first, money. So wallet. What I carry my money in, I have three cards in my wallet. I've got my two debit cards and then my driver's license. So I keep those in there, that's all I need. I don't really need two debit cards, but I'm trying to do a budgeting thing, so that's all I need. I don't carry cash, if I do, I leave it in my car. This is the MagSafe wallet from Apple. It's hard to get the cards out sometimes this way. Like that was nice, because I just kind of moved them around. But when they're stuck in there for a while, and you're trying to pull this out, this can happen a lot. And it's awkward while you're trying to get your money out. So I'm not a huge fan of that, but since it's proprietary from Apple, it just works well with the case in the phone. So I like it. It's starting to patina really nicely. I don't know if you can see that. So love Apple, love the saddle brown color. Uh, I don't like how on the top here that's starting to wear. I'm not really sure why that is, I guess holding the phone like this a lot or something. Which, by the way, we'll just move on to the phone, which I do have the iPhone 13 Pro here. Uh, I usually don't have a case on it. I really like iPhones as they are, and knock on wood, I take good care of them so I don't drop them very often. But when I do want to throw a case on there, if I'm doing something like through the woods or outside or on concrete, I'll, uh, I usually like, you know, clear cases. I don't like the ring on, you know, this clear case, but I understand why it's there, obviously, so that this can happen, which that's a nice look. Um, I have the white or silver, I guess, iPhone 13 Pro. And uh, by the way, you can pick up these wallpapers if you want uh, on my Instagram. So check me out on Instagram, Spencer Scott Pugh. And uh, yeah, iPhone 13 Pro. We've got my keys. So here's another thing that I'm trying to minimize even more so. Uh, I've got my key fob and I kind of wish that my key fob was the only key that I needed. Um, I don't really like this situation. I do have the Apple AirTag that my wife lovingly bought me this year uh, because I do tend to lose, honestly, my wallet more than my keys. And I will say this is not the Apple wallet that has the find my feature. Um, so that is available, which I probably need to pick up at some point. I tend to leave my wallet behind more so than my keys, obviously, because you can't drive without your keys. I've got the AirTag on here with the little case that Apple sells as well. I've got my home key and then my office key, but as minimal as I can get for what I need, so that's what I do for my key. Next is my Whoop strap. So I got the Whoop 4.0 sent in the mail. Uh, I actually pre-ordered this and then decided not to buy it and they sent it to me anyway and haven't charged me the monthly. So I'm not saying that's something that you should do, but it's awesome and I love it. Honestly, I think the price for what you pay month over month is a subscription-based service uh, is pretty nice. The Whoop 4.0 band is my activity tracker. I do have the Apple Watch Series 4 as well, but ever since I got the Whoop band, I've just been wearing this watch from Nordgreen, who I've partnered with for a few different assignments. I don't remember what this one's called. I have the Philosopher watch as well, but I really like this just simple analog watch, which is nice. And since I have this, you know, tracking my activity, all I really need to know is the time. And it also helps cut down on distractions of looking at my watch all the time. So that's the watch of my choice. Every day I bring this bag to and from work. This is the Day Owl Pack. I'm looking for a new bag, one that's just a sling that goes over one shoulder. Uh, if I ride my bike to work this summer, that would just be a lot nicer. And uh, honestly, I don't use all of this space. Nine times out of 10, I keep my M1 MacBook uh, Air in there, 13 inch, of course, uh, which is nice. It fits in this back pouch here. I'm trying to show it to you guys. Just a zippered back pouch. Um, usually in here, I'll either throw you know, my, my journal. Today I actually did some work off site while I was getting my car inspected. So I did take my headphones, which that wasn't even on the list, but I have the Sony MX100 H4, whatever it is. I'll link them down below as well. Uh, I love these by the way, and I don't have these, I don't carry these with me every day, but technically they shouldn't be in this video, but they made a surprise appearance, which is totally fine. Love them, great over ear headphones, around ear headphones, I guess is what it's actually called. So it does have an opening here up top, which I keep some pins. Um, that changes, it's not something I take with me every day. So up here in front, I don't really keep much. 
like I said, sometimes uh, throw in a shirt or something maybe, but as far as everyday carry, this is also from Day Owl. It's just their wired wire holder. I've got um, all my cords, my charging stuff as well. And then something I recently purchased, actually, like last week, I think it was, is this Samsung T7, I think it's called. Yeah, SSD. One terabyte, all I need. Love this. Lightning fast. I actually found a good deal on Amazon, believe it or not, used. And it came perfect, so I don't know. As you all do know, I do bullet journal, so I usually keep my bullet journal with me. Sometimes I leave it here at work, sometimes I take it with me. Uh, I used to take it with me every day, and I still do, just depending on if I know I'll need to do work outside. So there is my uh, moleskin bullet journal, the tried and true, which I just put out a video last week about. Um, if you want to check that out, there's my Tri Plus pen that I love using. Last few things here. One is my water bottle. I cannot go anywhere without water. It's so weird because I think about when I was a kid, I never had a water bottle with me. I guess my parents just always made sure I drank, but it's weird as an adult, like if you don't have your water, you feel naked almost. I've been using Hydrate Spark. Uh, I think it's Spark. Maybe it's just Hydrate now. Water bottles for a while now. Basically, it notifies me when I need to take a drink, but I've actually turned that feature off and um, the bottom will glow usually. Uh, comes standard. It'll glow every hour that you haven't drank enough and it sort of keeps track of where you are throughout the day Which is super nice. It's a good reminder. I turned it off to save battery and now I only really use the light um, To show when I've poured new water in when it's registered that the water's in there It'll blink and then also if I meet my goal, it'll go crazy and that's always fun a little expensive like 60 65 dollars I think but love this thing wish I hadn't gotten blue, but that's all they had at, a at the time So I really wanted this uh, this model. I'd rather just prefer black or maybe Maybe even white. As far as cameras go, um, I do take my camera with me a lot, not all the time, but when I do, it's usually my a7 III, which I'm shooting on right now. And I have two lenses. I have the Tamron 28 to 70, I believe, uh, which is like my go-to all I ever need lens. But I recently purchased this really, really inexpensive um, 35 mil fixed lens from Sam Yang. It does great it's so light and that's the reason i got it i want to be able to take my camera with me on trips and stuff and not have that heavy lens that protrudes out and makes it weird to pack into things this keeps the form factor really thin on the the camera and allows me to just kind of do that street photography capturing moments and having to move my body to get closer or further away instead of being able to zoom it just makes it a little bit more fun to capture those memories through 35 mil and just like i promised to you all thank you for sticking around to the end of the video here is the underwhelming, surprising, everyday carry item that during this time of year I need with me at all times. And that is Zatator. Allergy eye drops. Um, that's it. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, all links to all these things are in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, comment down below your thoughts. If you're trying to pick up any of these things, if I can answer any more questions for you guys, and please watch this video right here. You're gonna absolutely love it. I love you guys. And remember to focus on the things that matter. See you next time.